Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to Speed Tutor and welcome to the top free Unity assets for September, October 2021. And this is selection of all the best assets for this month. I'll leave all the links in the description for you to check them out. Let me know which one's your favorite and leave a like on this video because it would really, really help me out. So number one is something called Warp City 2 and it's a selection of pixel art assets to build your own platformer, which include a seamless loop parallax background, a complete title set at 16 by 16 to build your own levels, lots of different props, items, decorations, two different animated enemies and two music tracks. The next one is the Cubex Cube Free City Pack, which is a selection of 28 models to create your own mini city, which include a building, vehicle, different types of roads, road materials, tree elements, all with really tiny billboards suitable for the universal and the built-in render pipelines. The next one is something called the Rock Tool, and you do have to install the free Houdini plugin for Unity, but this allows you to actually create procedural assets using the Houdini engine, which allows you to wrap a rope around any particular object, control the resolution, the diameter, twists, UVs, and the rope types. And then you can use planes to choose a where the rope might intersect with specific geometry. The next one is called Collider X, and this allows you to create a custom style collider, which often in games you need box colliders, sphere colliders, or mesh colliders, which can be quite expensive based on how many vertices, triangles that are built up into your mesh. It tries to get as close to using a box collider as possible and determines whether your asset is blocky, if it's low poly, and you can use specific things to determine the limits and the threshold to be able to control these selections. The next one is a stylized set called Ancient Ruins and Plants. It's a really nice set of ruins and specific types of plants, really low poly with up to 2000 resolution textures that you should check out. The next one is the Technorock multiplayer demo, which illustrates how to build a small multiplayer arena style tank game with specific networking techniques. So it shows you how to make shared and hosted more support, lag compensated breakasts, primitive spawning, object pooling, and complete game loops to help you achieve this type of game. The next two are kind of combined because they're a similar thing. It's the Fantasy Axe and Shield and the Stylized Newbie Weapon Pack. And the Fantasy Axe and Shield is an awesome looking PBR, almost looks hand painted with loads of cool details. And it has an emission map, so it looks like it glows in the dark. And the Stylized Newbie Weapons Pack has a 21 specific stylized weapons for four axis shields, saves, bows, swords and daggers with 24 hand painted diffuse maps and these are really really awesome. The next one is something called Simple Grid Pathfinding and this allows you to make basic grids whether that's rectangles or circles you can add walls to the grids and you can close them off with paths and have characters navigate through this. You can have four different types of pathfinding to calculate whether it's on, hover, on, click, wait a turn or use max tiles and it has a lot of customization within. The next one is the Low Poly City Pack Collection 3D Model Demo and it's a low poly set of buildings which is a school, shop, fire station, houses with a demo scene included with eight different meshes and 15 shared materials. The next one is the Sci-Fi Old Rusty Props PBR and this comes with 28 specific prefabs, seven different materials up to 4k resolution and it's a bunch of sci-fi themed assets which includes crates, fuse boxes to create your own sci-fi corridors and the look of that theme. The next one is the Warwolf Info Decals Pack 01 and it's 15 high quality sci-fi themed decals which can include cautions, warnings, instructions and models and it includes a variety that you can use straight in your game for specific decals when you need to make the environment slightly more interesting. The next one is the free 2D Impact FX. This is three specific impacts and it allows, it comes in PNG format with eight times eight sprite sheets with 64 frames in total. The next one is the Weapons Pack Realistic Low Poly and this is a free pack of 40 low poly weapons in a realistic style when that includes two revolvers, seven pistols, eight SMGs, 12 assault rifles 
and snipers, machine guns, and everything in there, and polygons range from 750 to 2500. And last but not least is the APC Military Low Poly 3D Vehicle, and this is an APC military vehicle style model optimized for mobile games, and it only uses diffuse textures, and it's got high quality details and parts, and it combines several different meshes, which include the actual 3D object, the vehicle, the platform and the road itself. So be sure to check out these awesome assets and all the assets that are featured in this month. I'll put all the links down in the description for you to check them out. Do let me know which ones you like and if there is any in this month that you do particularly enjoy, comment down for other people to check them out too. Come and support me on Patreon if you want to get access to scripts, projects and stuff you can't find anywhere else. Come and join me on Discord if you want to chat. Do check out my great assets on the Unity Store and thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.